Now, Mukul Sangma, of course, is the key player in all of this, who's just crossed over from the Congress to the TMC, the former Chief Minister of Meghalaya. I spoke to him earlier and I began by asking him, Mr. Sangma, that why did you leave the Congress party number one and why did you join the Trinamool, which has no presence in Meghalaya? As I have said, when we were exploring these whole possibilities, we did lots of research, we did lots of studies, we did talk to many of our senior leaders who are otherwise active or otherwise dormant as well. As you know, many of our senior leaders who are not in circulation but are a source of wealth of uh, knowledge and experience based on their uh, uh, long innings in uh, public life. Mm -hmm. And therefore, all these exercises culminated into, you know, uh, forcing us to search for an alternative in absence of uh, the, the, the whole intent or the desire uh, uh, missing from our uh, uh, Grand All Party. And that exercise ultimately made us uh, do scanning of all other options available, mm -hmm. starting from my state of Meghalaya, all the political parties that operate here, none of them are the party which can align with our ideology and principle. Hmm. And we therefore looked at other parties in the Northeast, then okay. on a pan-India basis. Then we zeroed down because of the reasons that is available before us, because the Trinamul Congress, in as far as what we have seen in the uh, present political scenario, is that okay, they are aligned to our commitment to protect and defend our people who feel insecure in this country, who feel deprived in this country, hmm. and therefore, if we can funnel our strength and aggregate it together and look at how on a pan-India basis we can all come together, right. I think we are going to be able to do justice. Right, but you said, uh, we heard you say that it was the Prashant Kishore uh, who approached you. What exactly did he say to you? You see, you all know that uh, 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 as an election strategist, uh, our International Congress leadership was uh, engaging with him. So we also looked at, okay, whether this engagement uh, was actually going to uh, result into something uh, concrete, uh, which will give an indication that uh, naturally we will uh, take course correction and will be seen as uh, uh, really determined to uh, do justice to our role and responsibility as a political party hmm. and uh, fulfill our purpose. But then in course of this discussion, ultimately, I think he also thought, you know, I need better to give up because there's uh, uh, nothing going to happen. Hmm. And therefore, again, continuous discussion, continuous engagement. We also did little research at our own end, hmm. did little data analysis and looked at, okay, is it possible then to align with anybody? Then he also suggested, Dr. Sangma, I think you need to look at uh, this particular space which is available. Hmm. And therefore, we discussed amongst our uh, own colleagues, our own CLP, and ultimately, uh, Friends who have agreed to come together have taken a conscious decision. Okay, so how, when, when did these conversations start? When did Prashant Kishore and you first start this conversation? Yeah, quite a multiple times, number of times. As I have said, it's a long drawn exercise. Yeah, hmm. it was not something which has opened in the last two weeks, three weeks, or a month. It was a long drawn exercise. Yeah. Okay, but you know, some would say, Mr. Sangma, that it's all very well to, to say that, you know, the Congress kept losing and that's why you left. But some would say that that's part of politics. You win sometimes, you lose sometimes, but leaving the party which you served for so long and which has also served you is a form of betrayal. I will rather put it on my own way. One cannot do injustice to the people of the country. Mm. One cannot do injustice to the kind of role that as a political party, a political party has to fulfill. Therefore, one cannot just occupy a space and be idle without doing anything. You need to look at what is happening in the country. You need to look at as to whether, uh, you know, the whole um, scenario the, uh, across the nation, the whole socio-political spectrum uh, give you that kind of comfort that, okay, you will see people going and coming in chalta hai, chalta hai attitude. We have to get out of this chalta hai attitude if we want to do justice to the role that is vested upon us because hmm. uh, aspirations and expectations of the people are linked and connected did you with not, what we do. Did you not bring up all of this, this as you put it quite strongly, this chalta hai, uh, uh, chalta hai attitude, did you not bring this up with the senior leadership of the Congress, including the Gandhis? 
Unfortunately, there are many other senior leaders as well. I think uh, everybody uh, have seen the same ending. So it is not that Dr. Mukul Sama has not tried. Dr. Mukul Sama has made an uh, attempt after attempt after attempt to have audience. And if states are, uh, you know, slowly weakened in every state, what happens to the party? If it is weakened in Meghalaya, if it is weakened in Assam, if it is weakened in every state, hmm. how are you going to rise as a political party? Every political party has to be strong at the grassroots in every state. Hmm. Then only you can think that, okay, you are able to really do justice to the aspirations and expectations which are connect to, uh, connected to the political party to which they align to. Last question to you. Uh, the, the allegation seems to be that this is really not so much about wider principles or the Congress coming apart, but the fact that you are upset because someone else was made state congress president. That's why you staged this, this rebellion or this defection. See, it is not just one issue in isolation. It's an aggregation of many things which were required to be corrected. As I have said, it's a long-drawn exercise. If we go back to 2018 election, we were supposed to be in the helm of affairs of governance after the election. We were supposed to get the mandate to form government. But why did we fail? There were many reasons. And the reasons are because of complete lack of concern in respect of an electoral battle. We go to electoral battle not to win. Hmm. It's Chaltahe attitude with which we go. That's why we lost that 2018. If you go by every data that was available prior to the uh, vote and the counting, the Congress was uh, crossing halfway mark. But what happened? There are reasons. There are many things which are decided by AICC. Have you, uh, can you, can you by any chance, you know, uh, justify when a president is replaced uh, just uh, a week before the election is notified for a general election? So it is not just this part uh, where you see that, okay, something uh, uh, that was decided upon is seen as something wrong, but then it is a culmination and aggregation of all those things which have slowly uh, created this whole uh, ultimate situation.